Hey, it's me. I am going to be filming a little tutorial for you all today. The Sephora VIB sale is happening soon. Normally, I don't do these videos because I'm always late to the party, but I found out it is August 30th, which by the time this video goes up, it's going to be the 29th. So I'm early baby and we're going to do it. I always love how Jamie Page Beauty films hers. She does a tutorial with her Sephora recommendations. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I filmed this look, just kind of like a soft, sultry, smoky look. Not over the board smoky, you know me, very classic smoky. Uh, yeah, and I'm just going to be talking about some new products, some old products, also some underdogs I feel like don't really get talked about a lot. So that's what we're going to be doing today. If you aren't subscribed, please make sure you do so. And if you aren't following me on Instagram and Twitter, the handle will be right here. So let's go ahead and get to the recs. I'm going to pop on a little bit of the Fresh Sugar Coconut Lip Balm. This smells so amazingly good. If you like coconut scents, you will absolutely fall in love with this. I keep it on my vanity at night and I use it right before I go to bed. But I wanted to talk about it in this video because I feel like some of you guys are lip balm fiends like me. And this is just like luxury amazing. Wow, what a revelation. I am getting blackheads on my nose. Also something a little random, but I've been using every single day when I do makeup is the First Aid Beauty Kona Eye Stick. This is supposed to have caffeine in it. It's supposed to refresh your eyes. I really do feel like it makes concealer look a little bit more fresh and it feels super cooling when you apply it. So something just kind of different to look into, especially if you have puffy eyes in the morning, that's one thing I struggle with. I don't really have dark circles, but I get super puffy eyes. I like having something like this on hand to tone that down. I'm just gonna go on record and say that I normally don't wear primer on a daily basis, but if I am going to be wearing Quite a bit of makeup or more makeup than usual. I do go for the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. I think it does a really good job of minimizing forehead lines or just lines in general and also smoothing out enlarged pores. It's definitely one that actually works. I feel like it does what it says and it's not really gimmicky. It just kind of gets the job done. I know a lot of people expect influencers or beauty bloggers to talk about newer products in these videos, but a lot of these are just kind of like OG products for me because I'm just going to tell you, I've been doing this for five or six years now. I've been around the blog and I feel like I have almost seen it all when it comes to makeup. So I just kind of wanted to bring some underdogs into this video and I definitely feel like this foundation is one of those. I talk about it pretty frequently on my channel. It's the Lancome Tinea Dual Ultra Wear Makeup Stick. So it is their foundation stick. It is literally the most portable foundation one could ever own. I love traveling with it. It has customizable coverage and it, it just, it glides on seamlessly. It glides on seamlessly and blends out seamlessly. I think that it is not talked about enough. Honestly, I don't know why the liquid is talked about more than this. I guess because stick foundations are generally underdogs anyways, but I just think it's an amazing versatile formula. It would work for a lot of different skin types. It just kind of has a natural satiny finish to it and it just blends out like air. I mean, it just looks so dang good. It's also one of those foundations that you can touch up with throughout the day. So if you feel like, you know, you need maybe a little bit of concealer on your under eye area or maybe your mascara is ran and you kind of have darkness, it's such a blendable and buildable formula that you can just pop a little bit on your finger and, you know, just kind of tap underneath your eye or on your nose. Maybe if you find that foundation comes off on your nose, it's just such a smooth formula that you can use it for anything, baby. Okay, Cool Beans fam. So I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Stick Concealer. 
You guys know this has been something I have been raving about for months now. I think it is the best stick concealer I have ever used. Again, just super portable, really versatile to use. I use it all over my skin and it's not crepey. It doesn't look cakey. It just looks nice and smooth. Actually has really decent coverage for a stick concealer. So again, just gonna pop that all over. It gives a nice medium to full coverage. Really great to uh, use on pimples or maybe like darker areas on the face. I just love the formula. I was gonna say if you can get this brush I'm using, it's the Smashbox Blurring Foundation. I use this for everything. I use this for cream blush, bronzer, foundation, concealer, but I don't think Sephora sells the Smashbox brush collection. I think it's limited to department stores like maybe Nordstrom and I can't remember where else I saw, maybe Dillard's or something like that, but this foundation brush is a winner. So Laura Mercier's Secret Brightening Powder has been something I've been really impressed with. Normally I don't use translucent powders, especially on my under eye area, but I don't know how this one is different from her translucent original, but I love it. It's so smoothing and it doesn't look crepey. Again, just something that I've really been enjoying in my everyday routine. I just use a small amount on my sponge and I just kind of pop it on my under eye area. I don't use it anywhere else, just my under eye area. This bad boy has truly been a staple in my routine. It's just the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer in the shade Baked. I love it. I don't know if it's just the chubby kind of design of it or the user-friendly design but i absolutely love using this bronzer so i just kind of pop it on it's again you can just throw it on in kind of like shambles and it's still going to come out looking good so i've just been using a little bit you know in the regular spots and it blends out so good again i just use that same brush I use for foundation and I just kind of push it or stipple it into the skin. Okay, so to set the rest of my face, I have really been enjoying this new powder from Laura Mercier. It's the translucent setting powder but in the glow version so this has a really nice iridescent finish to it it doesn't look shimmery it just kind of has like a natural glowing property in it so what i've been doing is i've actually just been setting kind of like my t-zone area with this powder and i think it just gives like i don't know if you can see with the lighting but it just kind of gives this soft luminous effect so you know I'm all about that glow I'm a fan if you weren't a fan of her original loose setting powder I think this one is worth a shot especially if you do like that luminous look and you can just use it in target areas where you maybe just want a little bit of glow also really great for those of you who feel like highlighter in general is maybe too much for you maybe if you have a little bit more of a mature skin and you feel like when you put on highlighter it emphasizes your pores this is something you can use in place of that i actually use this in place of an actual highlighter in my video the other day and as you can see it just gives this nice soft candlelit glow so just popping that kind of all over i've been loving cream blush recently and the brand i've been using a lot is nude sticks i got one of their little trial sets mm, a little over a month ago and i've been using these little lip and cheek pencils non-stop the shade i've been using on my cheeks is called bell it's just kind of like a natural pink tone i just put a little bit on the back of my hand like that and basically just take again that same same brush here multitasking people and just pick a little bit up and then just pop it on my cheeks i just love how soft and natural it looks 
You all know I'm not a huge blush person in general, and I just think that this looks so much more natural than most powder blushes. I also like to take a little bit, you know, on like the rest of my face just to kind of carry the rosy tones over and make everything cohesive. Highlighter, nothing new to see here. I will always recommend Benefit What's Up. It is such a stunning formula. Every time I wear it, people are just like, whoa, what's on the face? What highlighter is that? And a lot of people are shocked when I say it's a cream highlighter, but I love this. You guys know I wore this on my wedding day. I will never stop preaching this highlighter. I just love it. I think it's phenomenal. The other day, somebody told me I look like I had a pregnancy glow. Um, no, just benefit what's up. <laughs> I don't really have a solid recommendation for brows. If there were one that I would say that I use frequently, it's the Benefit Brow Zings. But again, I'm not 100% loyal to it. I do occasionally use other products, but just in this video, I haven't used it in a while, so I'm just gonna, just gonna give it a go. I like the wax in this palette. It's just super natural and I think it fills in good, so I end up normally just filling in most of my brows with the wax. I know it's kind of weird, but... You guys know one of my all-time favorite Bobbi Brown products is the Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in Sand Dune. This is actually something I'm probably going to repurchase during the sale. This is a mini that I have had for probably over a year now and it's on its last life. But this is just the perfect kind of base for an eyeshadow. It kind of creates a nice transitional color for you and it's just I, I love the overall color of this sometimes on really natural makeup days I'll just throw a little bit of this on my eyes blend it out with my finger and it just gives your eyes a wash of this nice almost beige hue I don't know I just something about it I have always been a fan of it from the moment I used it so this is the eyeshadow palette I have been using for the past couple months. It's the Bobbi Brown Night Drama Palette. Normally, I'm not crazy about Bobbi Brown shadows. I found them to be a little lackluster in the past, but this palette, I don't know if they've reformulated their shadows or what the deal is. It's so blendable and easy to use. Really interesting color combination in here. I feel like this is also something out of the norm from what I would normally do, but... I have been using it non-stop, so I've really been enjoying one particular look. I'm going to do it for you guys today, and I'm going to take this shade right here in the center. It's kind of like a peachy bone color, and I've just been using this as an overall lid color and also slightly a transitional shade. So just going to buff that over the top of the Sand Dune Cream Shadow Stick, and it just alone these two together look phenomenal. Before I go in with the next shade, I have been using the Urban Decay Glide On Pencils. These are pretty much the only eyeliners I use other than Charlotte Tilbury. This one is in the shade Corrupt. It's a really rich, sparkly brown. And what I've been doing is I've just been uh, taking my eyeliner and kind of taking it across my eye first before I go any further with any shadows and then I've just been smudging it. So this is gonna be a really smudgy, kind of smoky look. And I think when you apply your liner first, it just kind of adds to that soft, kind of smoky effect. So that's what I've been doing. I've just been taking that particular shade and just kind of, you know, doing a little smudge mudge with it. Okay, so now we're going to take the matte kind of chocolate brown shade in this palette. I'm just going to take a standard eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go over the top where we took the Urban Decay liner and I'm just going to start smudging along the lash line. After 
I kind of have that smudged along my lash line, I have been slightly taking it into the crease. So just taking kind of like a fluffier brush and taking the excess and sweeping it a little bit on the outer corner and also into the crease. Now that I have this general kind of smoky shape to my eyes, I've been taking that sparkly color in the palette that is kind of just like a shape shifter. It turns any matte eye look or any matte eyeshadow into a nice like sheer sparkly look. So I'm just going to take that on my finger and I'm going to pop that mainly on the center of my lid, but I'm also going to bring it inward just a little bit. And I'm going to finish off the eyes just by smudging whatever is left on my brush on my lower lash line. I don't have a mascara that I'm loving from Sephora, but I will say I am loving the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes. I know Charlotte's coming to Sephora soon, but I don't think her products will be there when the sale is going on. But I'm just going to go ahead and apply this because honestly, I don't have that many other mascaras from Sephora. And if I do, they're not really favorites of mine. So... Just going to pop a little bit of this on and then I'm going to move on to lashes. Lashes, hands down, Sephora Fringe. The Sephora Collection lashes in the style Fringe are phenomenal. I cannot recommend these enough. They are the most stunning lashes, especially if you have smaller eyes or hooded lids like I do. These just make your eyes pop and stand out. I don't have to trim them. They just look so good. So what I'm trying to tell you is you, you kind of need these in your life. Last but not least, I have this really cool lipstick from, again, the Sephora collection. It's called the Melting Lip Click, and it's in the shade Caramel. So it's just like a nice nude color. But these are basically lipsticks that you click, and they obviously push up. Really weird packaging for a lipstick, but I will say that the formula on these are gorgeous, really pigmented, super shiny, and they are really long wearing, I found on the lips. So this is something I would definitely recommend checking out. I haven't really played around with any of the other colors. This is just the only one I have, but I've truly been loving it. And I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in completely sepia, and I'm going to use that to line my lips. This really isn't something that I would say is a must have, but I have been using it a lot with the Sephora products. So I'm just going to line my lips and then apply that Sephora Melting Lip Click. All right guys, so this is the finished look. This is kind of just like the look I've been rocking, especially with a lot of these products. I'm obsessed with it. I think it is a subtle smoky look with some nice fancy lashes. I swear I cannot recommend these lashes enough. They have quickly become my new favorite. I actually enjoy wearing them more than like Ardell Demi Wispies. So out of this entire makeup look, I'm just going to pick some standout products. Definitely check out the lashes. Those would be totally number one on my list. Also, this melting lip click. I just think the formula is so comfortable. It's super glossy. And this particular caramel shade is a stunner. So that would definitely be at the top of my list. Also, really been enjoying the Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick. I think it's so natural, universal, easy to apply. Other than that, everything, everything that I talked about in this video, worth checking out, especially, you know, if you feel like you need something in that particular category. Uh, yeah, these are just some really great options to look into if you are on the hunt during the sale. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them down below and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.